I've been diagnosed with, you know, PTSD. I have problems sleeping, bad nightmares, and I get paranoid. Like, I always have to feel like I have to know each and every exit. At one point in time, I just wanted to just throw away everything. I always took boxing as, like, therapy to me. It just helped me cope with a lot. Jamel Herring belongs to a generation accustomed to war. He enlisted in the Marines in 2003. At 17, he was already an amateur fighter, but soon to learn that real peril is what you can see. Me being a gunner, I was more concerned of sniper fire. That was my biggest thing. That was my biggest thing. Whenever we got stopped, you know, I was like, I feel like I was always sitting duck because I'm on top of a Humvee. Hey, we'll try to put this in the Now, I seen in one of my Humvees um, hit a pressure plate. And when the explosion hit, it, it split the whole front of the um, Humvee. Hey, guys, we have friendlies to the north. How many guys do you remember losing? I can't even tell you, but one Marine always sticks out to me to this day. He was an EOD technician, like basically what you call a bomb squad. He was telling us that he had a two-year-old son. Maybe like a week later, he got killed by the explosion. And that like really triggered something in me because I was, I was expecting my first son. After a second tour in Iraq, Herring came home in 2007. Though he had missed the birth of his first child, He'd be there for the second, a girl named Ariana, born May 25th, Memorial Day, 2009. Probably one of the best feelings in the world. You know, I, I actually be, can be home and experience, you know, what I felt was a blessing coming into the world. Then came the night of July 27th. I remember hearing her mother screaming upstairs, and I went to go check. I thought I wasn't breathing. She's not, she's not responding, she's not moving. I took my daughter out the crib. I, you know, I, I let her forget, I laid her on the bed. I tried, to get, I tried to give her CPR. I couldn't get nothing. What happened? Um, she had passed away from SIDS. At that point in time, that's when I really wanted to just to give her everything, including boxing. Eventually, it was Ariana who got him back in the gym, if not her voice than her spirit. I remember me telling myself that um, my daughter wouldn't want me to see me like this. She wouldn't want to see her father be labeled as a quitter. So I just kept going. I want to thank God, and I want to thank my daughter who's above him watching over me. What almost broke him as a man transformed him as a fighter. First an armed forces title, than a national championship. And on July 27, 2012, to open the London Olympics, he walked out as captain of the American boxing team. That day will never leave my mind because that same exact day was the anniversary of the passing of my daughter. And I felt like, you know, that day was for her. Even though she's not here with me, she's here with me, you know, spiritually. So when I was um, marching down with the rest of the team, I'll never forget looking at looking in the sky and said, you know, I, I made it. Now with a record of 19-2. Dominating effort by Herring. Mel Herring is pitching a shutout. He's finally got his first title shot. And it comes on another anniversary. Not of death, but life. May 25th, the day Ariana would have turned 10. If I don't do anything else with boxing, I just want to basically win it on her birthday. This is her birthday gift. The victory is for her. This is his breakout year. I've been through hell and back, and I want people to see that if I can do it, maybe those who are suffering just like me, they can do it as well. 